Well, it's day one of uh, Mars Alpha Expedition. That's right. Uh, we've been up here for a day, actually for a couple days. Just about a second. Now, I came up here Thursday, today, Saturday, going to Sunday. So I've been up here, yeah, a good couple days. It started off with kind of an <laughs> unusual uh, uh, events. So let me give you a time and date stamp. It is 3 hours and 37 minutes into the day of Sunday, July 20th, 2014. And as I stated, we were, we were up here at uh, Mars Alpha. And uh, things are going... Uh, let's call them bizarre. Uh, it basically, this year uh, is you, you would th think from the reports on uh, animal extinction that uh, that there's no wildlife left. Well, hate to inform those uh, environmentalists who don't go anywhere, who sort of you know don't really sort of live out in the wild or don't really experience it. They sort of uh, read these reports and. Uh, junk conclusions based on these reports, but uh, there's no shortage of wildlife here. Uh, just dealing with uh, an infestation of, of mice, uh, and actually there's a couple species of mice in here uh, that I've been sort of working at, so we're just sort of tearing everything off the shelves, uh, doing a lot of cleaning, and then there's uh, uh, I, a bug. I think they look, look like gnats. They're in the millions. And as they start dying off, they just started raining today, so uh, this is what sort of brought them out today, is the moisture. Uh, and the thing is, the weird thing about the, the moisture is that uh, we're dealing with uh, a bizarre type of moisture. It starts off, well, it's very warm during the day, very warm during the day. It got up to about 80, 85 degrees, nice and warm. But at night, it goes all the way down to uh, basically mm, I think it uh, gets down close to about 45 degrees Celsius outside. 45 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Uh, I think it's about 15, between 10 and 15 degrees Celsius. And uh, it makes it rather rough, rather difficult. Let me bring up my calendar here. Rather difficult to sort of uh, navigate uh, where we are in things, in terms of you know uh, what the weather's going to actually be like for for uh, you know in terms of the animal life. You would expect that a lot of animal life would have died off. And you would expect to see that, you know, uh, significant consequences in terms of negative consequences for animal life. Anyways, back to the number of dates I've been up here. So it's been one, two, three, three, three. We're going into our fourth day now. Uh, all the, doing the, a lot of the prep work. So it just, uh, it, it's, it's just a, a, a real... Uh, difficulty in terms of uh, getting things done right. Being that there's so many animals up here now. Uh, I'll show you tomorrow what has actually happened with, with the gopher. I actually have some of this shot, shot some of this footage earlier. You'll see it. I'll bring it into the, into the vlog later on. Uh, I'll probably, you know, show it there. 
But uh, it's basically the, this go uh, go for the groundhog. I think go for. No, I think it's a I think it's a groundhog. Has literally chewed up uh, and dug up a large chunk of the lawn. But if you look at where the, the where the uh, groundhog dug up, uh, most of the grass was dead, and more than likely this sh should should. Uh, aerate the grass should allow more grass to grow there. In other words, it's actually good for the soil for this to have occurred, so... Uh, <laughs> I'm trying out my GPS system here. I've been working on my GPS system for a while. Uh, I think it's uh, yeah, everything except my GPS satellite here. Right, so... There's no Wi-Fi up here, so it has to set things it's got no option but to set it by GPS. Let's see here. Uh. I'm wait for a GPS lock. Right now, I was trying to relock the relock the location here. It says area here, thirty three feet. We've got seven seven eight satellites. The approximate latitude is uh, forty four degree. Latitude is forty four degrees uh, north. For, uh, for, yeah, forty four degrees north and fifty three. I think it's 53 minutes. I went to uh, you know, longitude of uh, 77.5 77. I should do this in, uh, uh, in decimal points here to change this out. Do this in decimal points. Let's see here. Altitude, we're at uh, 1,270 feet above the sea level. So it's not bad. You know, this is this, this is a pretty good GPS app, uh, application that I've got. So I've been sort of playing with these GPS applications. Uh, there's another one I can find here. So this has been, been pretty good. I'm happy with what's going on so far. Just uh, rather difficult. Anyways, uh, I'll yeah, let's, let's say it's about 3.30 in the morning, so it's time for me to sort of... Uh, Finish up here. Yeah, let's see if this is still recording. Let me turn you around and see if it's still recording. Yeah, we got about 23 seconds left, so we'll let it run out. All right, bye. <laughs>10 I finally got up at 10 so that's about five hours worth of sleep I ended up staying up later and sort of tracing down more of the mice and I'll show you what's happened and what these sort of so let me give you the time and date stamp it is 13 hours and three minutes into the day of Sunday July 29th July 20th let's say July 20th 2014 and it's been not bad. Uh, the night went all right. I was able to find more than once, but it, there was a second infesta an infestation. And I'll show you what I mean. I'll take you over. I'll show you that, that mess that was there before. It looked like these little tiny, uh, you know, specks of dust, but they're not. They're actually bugs. 
and I'll show you the final result. Things have kind of stopped. Let me just take you out of your, uh, let me take you out of that uh, section there. And we got you out of the, uh, of the, uh, so let me take you over here now. We'll take you out of the sink. Clean, done some of the dishes here. But this is what I'm talking about here. Let's see if we can get up close and sort of get it. There we go. This is it here. It's all over the place. Kind of hard to see sometimes. I don't know how it'll come up on film. Uh, these were all bugs. And I had cleaned this part all yesterday. So now they're also in here as well. So I have to take that apart now. I have to take everything down. And re-clean everything. This will be left until basically Monday, Tuesday. All the pots and pans are over there now. Uh, the entire shelf back here is now cleaned up. I'm re-seasoning this pan here for, uh, and that pan there for pancakes later on in the week. Let's go outside and I'll show you what the uh, groundhogs have done. Let's just take a step outside here for a bit. Whoops. I gotta. I it doesn't look that bad through here. So I'll leave this here for now. But this is kind of what's, what's happened, what they've done. Uh, this is. And that's all the dug up grass, everything there. That's, that, this is all the groundhog. Now, it's a cloudy day today kind of cool so the groundhog didn't come up the the groundhog usually comes up and they sit on some of the rocks here and they bask in the sun particularly the around 10 o'clock at 11 if there's nobody around they'll come and sit on the rock and they'll just sort of bask in the sun so but uh, today it's uh, windy it's gray it's been raining much of the night so this is kind of uh, <laughs> where we are now uh, so I think I'm gonna end it here this is gonna be the end of this segment of the vlog uh, so, uh, this is the Mars Alpha vlog so yeah uh, I know one thing there are a little, there's a lot I said before, there's a lot of wildlife up here and there are frogs, amphibians, there's tons of it. And hopefully I'll be able to film some, some of it for you. I'm not going to be able to get all of it, but a lot of the stuff occurs at night when it's really dark. You can hear things. And your eyes can see things, but the camera's, uh, camera's uh, senses, the its light sensor, isn't strong enough, isn't good enough to really pick up some of these, uh, these uh, uh, scenes in darkened conditions. So... Uh, I might try to film and sort of see what I can do on the editing bay, sort of, you know, see if, if I can bring uh, dark scenes, uh, you know, bring them up a little bit more, uh, so that you can actually see something that's going on in the dark. So, well, anyway, we'll try that out and uh, go from there. Alright, take it easy. I'm back again, and I thought I'd give you a tour of basically what the situation is right now. So... <sighs> I've moved my office section over to here, so this is where my office is. Where are the two different androids? It's uh, got the GPS system on right now. This is currently being used for music, but the uh, phone speaker system. I'm going to be set up, setting up some type of Wi-Fi wi to, uh, to uh, do some experiments, some, some computer experiments. So, this situation here. Food is now in uh, boxes like this. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but you see there's a bit of dirt all along the top here. Well, those little specks of dirt... I'll show you more over by another light here. Let's go this way. Right here. Let's sort of see that. Get more dirt here. 
that's not actually dirt. These, see here, are tiny, tiny little bugs. And it's raining out. They weren't here yesterday, last night, but they're here now. And they're attracted to the lights. They get burned by the lights and they die. And these are the carcasses of these little things. But anyways, uh, all pots and pans that were back there are now uh, on the chair, on the benches over there. They're going to go into boxes like you have over here. The boxes down below here contain all the firewood. This is an old wood stove here. This is an old wood stove. So, uh, that's the situation here. But I'll show you what the mice have done. And this is why mice are very dangerous in terms of the, what the danger of the mice is. Is you can see all of the most mice droppings in here. So all this has to be cleaned tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll be spending most of the day cleaning this out. Just sort of sweeping everything out and getting all that work done. That's going to, just doing this is going to take most, and getting this area here clean, the food area, getting the food area cleaned, because that has to be pulled out too. That whole section here, that shelving here, that shelving unit so the, uh, on the wall, all that has to come out. I've rearranged most of the, most of the, uh, most of the stuff that's in here, these, uh, uh, sort of, uh, Cabinets have been rearranged. Uh, but basically, all, in all the, all the cabinets over there, the, 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 where, where the food stuff is, where, where actually dishes and plates are there. And some food stuff, that has to be pulled out. I cleaned the sink. I cleaned that top again, but it's going to have to be cleaned again because of all the, the uh, bugs. And then, on Monday... This entire area here has to be cleaned. This is Monday's work in terms of the cleaning. All of the camping stuff, this is the, the tents and everything that forms the Mars, Del the Mars Alpha Village, that's the Horyo. Uh, all that has, all this has to be pulled off the shelves, reorganized, and then we have to, again, we have to buy more of the, uh, the plastic bins, the big plastic bins. So you notice how there are two plastic bins here, and there are now four, four big bins up there. There's two brown ones and two blue ones, big ones like that. Uh, we're going to have to get another two, and all the remaining stuff that's up there, and the stuff that's in the garbage bags have to go into uh, more of the bins. We have said we're going to have to get two more bins uh, to, do, to deal with all the pots and pans. All the pots and pans have to go in bins now. Uh, you can't leave them out anymore, and that's because you know the the wildlife population up here has literally exploded. Uh, and they, we used to go on night hikes. We can't go on night hikes anymore. Uh, the number of wild animals there there are now. Wolves are back you know, back again. Actually, the wolves are here early this year. Normally, they don't show up until about two weeks from now, but uh, they're here. Uh, I heard them last night. Hopefully tomorrow night we'll see what happens. Uh, again, 2-3 o'clock in the morning we'll wait. And we'll see if we can hear the wolves howling. So anyways, uh, this is the uh, this is the cab. This is the central <laughs> called facility. This is the main camp. This is our base camp. This, this one cabin provides all the support. And it's not much, it's just basic support, right? Refrigerator, sort of wood stove, uh, sink. There's a microwave, an old microwave over there. Uh, bathrooms are behind the closed doors there. And basically you're on couches or you're on benches if you're going to sleep in here. Um, I sleep over here, that's where, the, that's where my office is. That's where I'm sleeping on the couch there. It pulls out, but... Uh, the problem is, is that uh, the, the the more than likely that bed hasn't been cleaned on the inside, the uh, the pull-out bed, and I can almost guarantee that it's filled with mice droppings. So 
this kind of place where you can sort of easily open up and then go sleep in there. So I said, all this stuff has to be cleaned up. This is going to be part of the project tomorrow. <sighs> so that's about it for now. I think that's going to conclude what we have to do tonight. Uh, hopefully we'll get some shots of the groundhog tomorrow. And I'll show you what the, dam what the, what the damage that groundhog's have, the groundhog has done. And to, to the grass and everything, you can sort of see that. And then we'll go from there. Anyways, uh, this is part of the fun. And when you watch, hopefully when you're watching this, when you, this finally gets to air, uh, BTS will be part of uh, our new, part of the uh, Cyborg Alpha TV live lineup. And you'll be watching this on our new, ch our new channel, our new live 24-7 channel. All right, take it easy. Good night. <laughs>
things that are really going on in the environment. Anyways, uh, I'm going to leave that here for now. Uh, it's about 4 o'clock in the morning. Just about 10 to 4 in the morning. I'm going to get some sleep. So I will see you tomorrow morning. I'll do another vlog. I'll see if I can get the, uh, if we can actually get the groundhog on video. And then later on in the evening at night, uh, we'll see if I can get the mice. Because I've been sort of tracking the mice in here uh, to see how... The, and this is what I did at my place, uh, study the, the mice behavior and as you watch the behavior you can figure out a way without using poison uh, to reduce and then eliminate the mice from your environment. So that's the way I, I uh, approach it. But the, the, the poison just simply doesn't work. Anyways, I'll see you uh, later. A couple hours. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> bye bye. Well, it's just a little after 10 o'clock on Wednesday, August 6th, 2014. It's the last day of Mars Alpha, so uh, I'm packing up and getting ready to go. <laughs> I was supposed to vlog a lot more than I did, but uh, uh, dealing with the mice ended up being a lot more complex than I imagined. Uh, so that ended up taking up most of the time. So not much vlogging actually got done. But anyway, this is where we are. This is sort of the environment. It's now peaceful and quiet because everyone's more or less going. So this is the environment here. This is where I, this is where I spend just about three weeks of the year. Uh, I have done most of the work I need to get done. Uh, the last few years was a test to see whether or not I could uh, successfully bring my office up here. And all the tests I've uh, produced for the last four years have been successful. And that means that uh, I will be starting to move my office up here to, in, ter in terms of a second office uh, from a research facility. So I'm gonna expand my research, research facilities up here now. So this is sort of the next step for me. <laughs> And that's going to occur more or less throughout the year. So, anyways, it's August 6th. Uh, August 11th, we start. Uh, we aim to start broadcasting live, do our, bro our live broadcast. Uh, well, that's that, uh, <laughs> we're definitely going to be doing the lecture series, uh, talk live. But we're also going to be doing live 24-7 broadcast. It will be beginning, it'll be, August 11th, hopefully, will be the beginning of... Uh, Cyborg Alpha TV Live, that's the 24 7 uh, channel. That's our beginning test for uh, physics TV, so we'll see what happens. That's sort of going to be an interesting little challenge. Uh, let's see here. That was a test, that, that was the tent I was in. This is the tent I was in here. Uh, I only spent a couple nights in it. Because there wasn't uh, this year, there wasn't that many people all year round uh, uh, in terms of the uh, all three weeks. So, and the, the part of the problem was is that in the woods behind are wolves and coyotes, and they get kind of close to the tent. And so, if you're there by yourself, you don't have other people around, then it gets kind of dangerous. So, I didn't want to stay in there by myself uh, when they didn't have other other tents around. For other people here, uh, because that's kind of dangerous. So, um, the end result was that I spent most of my time in the main cabin uh, over there. So, anyways, I think uh, that's going to sort of end things for now. I did get a beginning uh, hello vlog, and this is sort of the goodbye vlog. I think there's one in between. So we'll see what ends up happening, how I end up sort of splicing this together. It is going to be part of the BTS vlogs, but uh, uh, I, I, I think the BTS vlogs have sort of fallen off a bit. So I'll see what I'm going to do to sort of repair that, to sort of, you know, rectify that situation when I get back. And that's going to, going to be... Uh, Something to work on. <laughs> Alrighty, see you back at Toronto.
Welcome to the library. And I am the library. I am the professor. And professor of what? Professor of physics. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light? Free speech rules here at Democratic Earth.